Okay, in order to understand how a muscle contracts, we need to understand what makes it contract in the first place. So the first thing that happens occurs at this neuromuscular junction. Basically, this is where a nerve and a muscle meet. So up here, this is our motor neuron. Motor neuron. And this is our muscle cell. Now notice the two of them don't actually touch. There's this space between the two, and that becomes important. And basically, this motor neuron is going to tell this muscle cell to contract. So the first thing that has to happen is an electrical impulse comes down the motor neuron. Remember, that's just an electrical signal. And it's going to stimulate these little vesicles. On here, they're circles. And these little vesicles contain neurotransmitters. Remember, a neurotransmitter is just a chemical messenger. It's a chemical signal. Now, when we're talking about a motor neuron, this neurotransmitter is ACH, or acetylcholine. So at the end of this motor neuron, we have these little vesicles that contain acetylcholine. A uh, muscle, Im uh, I'm sorry, a neuroimpulse or action potential comes down the motor neuron and it stimulates these vesicles. These vesicles then will fuse, I'm going to undo their membranes here, they're going to fuse with the cell wall. And just let me get my brush back here. So they are going to fuse, they're going to open up, fuse with that cell membrane, and then they're going to dump their contents into this space. All that ACH is going to be dumped into this space. Now this process of the vesicles being stimulated, fusing with the cell membrane, and dumping their contents to the outside, remember that's an example of exo, oops, my pen to work here, cytosis. Now all of this neurotransmitter is freely floating in this space. We call this the neuromuscular um, gap. So now it's going to move from an area of high concentration up here to an area of lower concentration out here. That process, remember, moving from high to low concentration is diffusion. Just let me... Okay, now on the muscle cell membrane, we have receptors. Put some of these receptors, and then we'll put some of these receptors. And remember, just like everywhere else in the body, the neurotransmitter is only going to go where it meets its like receptor. So all of this acetylcholine is going to find the acetylcholine receptors. And like a lock and a key, that acetylcholine is going to activate those receptors. Once those receptors are activated, they're going to produce an electrical impulse or an action potential on the muscle cell membrane. So there's my little action potential. And that action potential is going to be propagated or transmitted along the muscle cell membrane where it will cause the reaction or cause the events that happen in order for the muscle to contract. All right, so that's it, really simple. An electrical impulse comes down, it stimulates the vesicles in the motor neuron to release their neurotransmitter, in this case it's acetylcholine, and once the neurotransmitter is released, it diffuses across this cell membrane, it binds with the receptors on the muscle cell membrane, on the surface of the muscle cell membrane, and causes its own action potential to be transmitted along the surface of the muscle cell. And that's it. Super simple.